it's a pleasure that you're gonna be my guest in the journey of this stylish short pants. I'm going to walk you through the nooks and cranny of it and that you may get the full concept of it, I would like us to go at a bite size. Please do not hesitate to ask me questions wherever it's not clear to you. I will always be available to answer all of your questions. These are patterns of the one I've done before now. And be rest assured that the process of this I'm going to make as simple as possible. So let's start. I'm going to start my cutting at 4 inch away from the top of my paper. This is for the band that will be built on the pattern at later. First we are going to mark for the flap. For a normal pant, I do mark at 9 inches. But in the case of this, that we are going to build the band on the pattern, I'm going to use 8.5 inches. And as you can see at the left corner of the screen, the full length of the pant is 19 inches. We are going to repeat the markings here. The 8.5 inches and 19 inches. I'm doing this because of you that may not have this tool. I'm not supposed to do the marking again, but I did it because of you that may not have this. And I will advise you to get these tools. You really need it for a kind of pants like this. If we're going to get to a point where the shape of it will help you a lot. Here I have also another vital tools the hip curve and the leg curve. We are going to use the hip curve to bring out the shape of the side. And for as long as my little knowledge is concerned about this hip tool, I don't think there is any other purpose for it than this. At the point where this new curve intercepts the existing crotch line, we are going to measure for our tie. The tie measurement here is 23.5, which half is 11.75. Half of 11.75 is 5.875. We are going to mark that point also on this line. The midpoint of 11.75 the next we are going to do is to measure the distance between the midpoint of 11.75 marked on the crush line and the margin line that is the line that runs vertically from the top to the bottom of our paper this distance we are going to measure also on the knee line and mark the point the next we are going to treat is the knee where we have 18 inches half of 18 is 9 half of 9 is 4.5 with 4.5 set on the mark point at the knee line we are going to measure 9 inches now we are going to use our leg curve to connect the point remember the pants we want to make with this pattern is a double M pant. So instead of the regular 2 inches for the M, I'm going to add 4.5 inches. Just as we did from the crotch line to the knee line, we are going to do the same from the knee line to the, to the M line. And as you can see here, the three points perfectly aligned. I want us to do something here. At the knee line, let's square up by two inches. Okay? Please draw this line faintly. 
now on your pattern i want you to measure the distance from this point to this point whatever you have is what you are going to measure at the end line here i have 9.25 inches that is i'm going to set my tape through at a center of 4.625 inches Remember I said that the value of one line on the inch reading of a tape rule is 0.125 inches. Please do not mind me. Use a straight ruler to draw this point, please. It seems like I have a lot running in my mind when I did that. The next we are going to treat is the ape. Here we have 38 inches. We are going to add 4 inches to it. That's 42 inches. Then divide it by 2. So we have 21 inches. This value we are going to divide between the front and the back part of this pattern in such a way that the back part will be bigger than the front. Be it by 1 inch, 1.25, 1.5 or 2 inches, whichever way you have decided it. So now I just mark 9.75 inches. That is, at the back I am going to measure 11.25 inches. That means the back part is 1.5 inch bigger than the front. At the crotch line, we are going to square down by 0.75 inch. From this point, we are going to square across. So now we are going to pick the leg curve and complete our waist line from this point we are going to square down by 6 inches for the crotch curve It is necessary we know the value of this waist line that we have here, this curve line. So we are going to measure it like this. And whatever we have, we are going to record it. Here we have 30 inches for the waist. Okay, so we are going to add 8 inches to it. The reason why we add 8 inches to the waist measurement, why 4 inches to like that of hip we are going to explain it in the next class this mark point on the waist is for the dart line from this point we are going to square down let the length of the dart be 3.5 inches while its width be 1 inch so on each side of the straight line we are going to mark 0.5 inch Let's call it a day today. In our next discussion, we are going to talk about the back part and we are going to treat the building of the band on the pattern. So if you have not enrolled for our online class about this, please kindly check for a link in the description box below to a rule that you may be part of subsequent discussion about this band because we are not ending it here we are taking it from pattern down to finishing that you are seeing on the screen right now thanks so much for being part of the discussion i love you